Welcome to another episode of Infinite Possibilities with Pradeep Gupta, brought to you by Mana TV International. Friends, let me remind you all that in our previous episode, we talked about what causes the imbalance between work and life. We talked about the distinction between person and personality, and we talked about how our choice of work is governed by the needs, leading us to the point. where our work is no longer an expression of who we are but becomes an expectation of reward or recognition today we will continue that conversation and learn about the four factors that need to be balanced and how to go about doing it like victor told us last time this is what we are going to be talking about today but first i want to start off by telling you that we are here to offer different outlooks that could result in possible new beginnings for you so my request please listen with an open mind and now let's welcome the man who is going to lead us forward victor welcome again to infinite possibilities once again prabhu thank you i mean i'm just looking forward to create the second part of thank you we are really excited victor we are really excited because what we're going to be doing today is complete our conversation about work life balance so i want to hand over the stage to you now and uh, let you take it from that point thank you so much uh, pradeep so in this uh, conversation that we began last time and now we are looking at uh, bringing some completion to this conversation i would like to bring all the points together the personality the person the expectation and then the experience of the expression that we have been talking about we want to bring it all together with the help of a matrix uh, and if that would be possible i would like to explain that with the help of the matrix pradeep sure absolutely victor let me just bring it up so as i was telling you pradeep it is essential for us to first get that uh, three questions what is at play the personality the person then the expectation the experience expression what is there at play uh, when you get these four things for yourself then you put these four together then you get is this my life and work a game of survival is my life and work a game of success is my life and work a game of creation or is my life a game of fulfill what is it the game is so victor can i ask you something here is is the goal of life towards you know to reach the fulfillment stage or is it okay to also be living like in creation or in success or in survival mode is that is there something which is like You, what do you think? We should be leading towards fulfillment, or can we be in any of the four quadrants? Any human being will sur- journey from survival, success, creation, fulfillment. This is the journey. But it is not like you have to be in fulfillment mode. But be authentic in which mode you are. There is no rule, right? It's your life. But at least you can say, you know, some people would say would actually be in survival, and but came claim to say I'm content. basically they don't want to take any risk in life they are too scared to take a risk because he is scared for his survival but he is very content in life i am i'm not aspiring now that's like a denial of being in survival and claiming to be in fulfillment are you are you getting me now yeah. that is the inauthenticity that need not be there you can be authentic and choose any way right it's your life you can just be authentic to yourself and say yeah my life is in sir now when you are authentic the possibility of balance is there correct but if you are inauthentic here in identifying where you are it's like this what balance can you expect when you are in new jersey but claiming to be in new york makes very makes a lot of sense right? and then you are searching for flights and you are getting flights from jfk to houston and no <laughs> flight from new york to houston i love that example <laughs> Yeah, I think that makes it very clear. Thank you for answering that, Victor. So now what I have done is to make it simple. While this might sound conceptually fine, you need action. You need you need some action. If on daily life, you say, how do I address this on a daily life? So what I put it some eight steps, uh, and then we will close with the matrix again, Pradeep. So if I can have the uh, eight steps that uh, suggested eight steps. Now again, this is not a rule. This is what has served me well in my years, from being an entrepreneur to a teacher, teacher entrepreneur, and now this whole expression, Victor Manikam Knowledge Guru, as a sharing of knowledge, is uh, 
identify the personality first. What is my personality? No going around on that. Just say this is my personality. List the expect. Be clear on what recognition and appreciation you want. Uh, most of us want appreciation. Most of us want rewards, recognition. But when BF says, no, 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 I'm not doing it for reward. I'm not doing it for a bit. But you'll go behind and you'll say, nobody appreciated me. I was saying that. But I was just ignored. Now that is, be authentic about what is your expectation. What is your expectation? Forget about others. What is your expectation? Then recognize the person as distinct from the personality. See, and it will always be there. It's a duality in which human beings need to accept that there is somebody inside and there is this personality, the interior and the exterior. Be clear who is this. Search who is this person. Most of us are ignorant about this person within ourselves. Who we truly right. are. Yeah, yeah, right, Pradeep. Like who we really are. You know how uh, in program for life we do, who am I? That, that's what I'm talking about. And then you see your personality now as a matrix of skill sets and not you. It, it, it's a whole bunch of skill sets. Now you have freedom, right, to express the person. Because you've seen this as a skill set, and now this skill set can be the resource to express the person. You know, there's a skill set which is like the now resource uh, to express the person. And there is no conflict, there's an alignment. And you begin to observe the four states at play. It's okay to sometimes, in some days, in some places, you're at survival, some places success, some places creation, fulfillment. You cannot be continuous in food. But it's okay to say, yeah, this is a game of survival. This is a game of uh, success. Be authentic about those things. So then you start being aware of what you're doing. Now when you're aware of all the four states at play, because you've identified the personality, you identified the person, you are uh, clear about the recognition, rewards, expectation, and you are now clear about what your expression is. Uh, then you know these are the only four things to balance and everybody's balance is going to be distinct there is no formula at some stage in life 60% survival 30% uh, success uh, 6% creation 4% fulfillment maybe the game of somebody and that's your balance and for somebody 60% fulfillment 30% creation 6% success and 4% survival Maybe the new balance for somebody. Uh, but each person has the right to create their own balance. Uh, and then if somebody says this is the formula for balance, uh, I think uh, that's shooting in the dark. Because balance is like when you're riding a bike, you found the balance. And each one's balance on the bike was their own discovery. And nobody can balance it for you. And there's no formula for balance. It is in riding the bike you discover balance. Balance is a discovery, not following any instruction. I love your examples, Victor. The way you give the examples, you know, it makes it very clear. You know, I can imagine, I can immediately picture myself, you know, and like, okay, yeah, this is how I find my balance. So that's very, very nice. Thank you for giving that great example. And now I would like to close this whole, I would see if the last minute, all the discussion that we have done, if I can bring it together so the viewer can just take home one piece, you know. You don't have to bother about, uh, okay, I need to know this, I need to know this, I did I take the notes on this, uh, but just take home this last piece and maybe it will help to probably, you know, you're looking at it, just take the picture and then use it or something like that can be used. Uh, exactly. you know, this, this picture that I, we are going to share now with our viewers is really, really, very informative and I think this is going to be like the guiding principle if you want to have balance. Now, see, uh, I love this uh, myself. I love this myself because it's been a journey uh, where I have seen this journey myself. Now, when you are survival, there is about physical needs. Those needs are innate and basic and fulfilling those innate and basic needs is essential and you come out as a survivor. Uh, that is the first level of balance. Another level of balance, or I would say that is one level of balance rather than the first level of balance. Another level of balance is where you are looking at success 
and then uh, the success comes by the intellectual needs which are something that you have acquired and you come out as a victorious person you know like earlier you were a survivor in the in the previous case now this is about a victorious person and then you have this creation which is again we talked about the person and the expectation which is emotional needs which come out of an experiential phenomenon it's an experience thing and it is the journey of a seeker so that's a survivor the victorious and then the seeker and then in fulfillment and needs for self is a lived in phenomenon you live uh, you you kind of are living what you talk you you kind of attempting to bring everything that you know and aware of into your living rather than separating and say this is what i'm doing for the job but that's not really me but you are integrating everything and saying this is a lived in phenomenon and that's a contribution so you are a contributor so the balance in life is in choosing and being authentic to myself about where i am you know you cannot say uh, actually it's all about uh, experiential but i want to be victorious then you are going to lose the balance this is like a guideline to say what's the life you want to live the life of a survivor makes you fulfilled does the life of a victorious guy make you fulfilled or the life of a seeker make you fulfilled or the life of a contributor what's the journey of life you want in being authentic to that uh, the balance in that moment is almost like an instant like before you were unbalanced in that moment of authenticity the bike and you become one and you get balance and once you get balance it's balance forever like swimming you are you are fearing to drown and you are struggling and there is that one moment you are in alignment with the water in yourself and then you are not fear drowning you don't fear you you it is you are swimming before that you did not swim at the next instant you know to swim before that you did not ride a bike and the next instant you are already riding the bike that is the discovery of balance or discovered phenomena when the thoughts feelings and actions are aligned to your life and work and you made a choice on and there is nothing wrong i am not saying a survivor's life is inferior to a contributor's life or a contributor's life is superior to a seeker's life no exactly. you choose the life you want and the balance when you are authentic on this matrix if somebody can plot themselves authentically 90% balance is possible like you immediately get a balance to life Uh, they don't bother about time management and life management and finance management. That is too tough. There, if you go there, it's too much of do. But this is a B. Survivor's life doesn't mean that it's inferior in any in any way uh, from a seeker or a contributor. Everybody has to find what they want and find their own balance. So, and and that that's very profound, Victor. I'm I'm still kind of looking at this uh, screen in front of me and trying to absorb. There's a lot. Uh, that we need to really understand here and another thing uh, you know everybody has to authentically first reflect and figure out for themselves what is the life that they're looking for what is what is dominating their choices and then based on that but then again like you said there is no right or wrong there could be all of them present in some way shape or form in some different ratio in everybody's life and that is important for us to understand and remember so, this was this was again you know i'm quite uh, awed by first of all the four factors that we talked about you know the person the personality the expectation and the expression you know how we kind of put them together and created the the matrix first of all that was really really it was an eye opener i think we again live in the default framework without realizing uh, how these things come together so that that was something that i'm sure our viewers would really like and uh, if if they can get that uh, you know understanding of the four factors that will be really something that they can i think help with their own life and the choices and finding the right balance for themselves and then the eight steps that you gave that was really something and and i think it's not just a theoretical thing what i liked about that was that it was from your own experience you made it for yourself and again you gave people the freedom to try it experiment with it and again find their own balance so thank you once again victor for the uh, the insight that you gave us i know i'm sure if we can look at it with awareness and open mind it can change our life we just need to apply this and the possibilities are 
infinite as we say so with that friends i i hope you enjoyed today's episode where we completed the topic on work life balance thank you victor for your insight and viewers i want you to write to us at the email id that you see on your screen share your feelings your comments your feedback what was your experience of listening to us did something stir in you how did it make any difference in your life share with us write to us and if you have any questions or issues that you want us to address please definitely let us know we look forward to hearing from you so with that i want to thank you victor once again for joining us and thank all our viewers for uh, watching us look forward to having you again victor next week and the viewers we'll see you again with another thought provoking subject in yet another episode of infinite possibilities with pradeep gupta brought to you by mana tv international have a wonderful time everybody namaste thank you so much pradeep uh, thank you so much